Hello everyone, Lisa here, aka Crafting Diva. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. I hope you're all doing well. If you're new to my channel, a big hello and welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. And if you're an existing subscriber, thank you for joining me again. As today I've got a new video for you all for my little mini series that I've started called Hashtag Project Share Thursday. I only started this last Thursday and thought it'd just be a fun one way for me to upload my little project share videos for you all and made the hashtag hashtag project share Thursday so hopefully it'll be easier for you to check out some of my projects as I upload them um so yeah hope you're all doing well let me know in that comments box what you've been up to have you been doing any crafting have you made anything fun are you in the middle of a major big craft project um yeah I'd love to know what you you're up to I've just been having a little bit of a play and been trying to use up some of the items that I've got in my craft room because I'm sure if you're like me you've got paper pads with little pieces of paper left that we just can't bear to throw away we've got sticker sheets with just a few stickers left and things like that and that's what I want to try and do these project share videos about as well how I'm trying to use up some of that stash that we have sitting there that we can't bear to throw away and we just need to use it up so that's what I'm trying to do so I've dug out some of my stickers I have pads like this in my craft room that have got just a few little stickers left on each sheet and I like to keep the waste pieces of stickers because you can still use these and I've got border strips and uh, all sorts of little sticker pieces from collections where I've only got a few pieces left I've got things like this with just a few birthday stickers left I had a flower sheet and things like that so I'm trying to use some of these up so by using some of those I've made two little ATC cards you might have got a sneak peek of these because I shared them on a short video so this is the first one and this was made with that autumn sticker sheet that I showed you here as you can see I've got three little stickers left but all the other little stickers I've stuck onto this sort of watercolour background that I had made. And because these stickers are a sort of on a clear sticker sheet, when you stick them on that watercolour card or any colour cardstock, they just melt into that piece of card and you can't see any of the sticker residue. So I really love that about sort of clear uh, stickers these are gorgeous because these are foiled stickers as well so what I did was just took an ATC card cut a mat down of that water coloured background and then just randomly stuck different parts of sticker trim the piece of and stuck that over to the other side and just made a random leaf background then I stamped the sentiment the little things you do make such a difference again on a sort of water coloured spritz background and just gone round the edge with the black to tie it all together and really make those colours stand out so that was one ATC made with some waist sticker pieces and then this is the other design that I've made again these were just parts of stickers I had left a lovely flower design again these are on the clear sticker sheets and again I've just stuck them randomly over the ATC uh, watercolour background that I'd made um, randomly stuck the leaves and cut the excess off and put them in different corners of the card done a little boulder across and then added this sticker which is the waist circle of a waist circle sticker and then added the sentiment a great day so it shows you can make two great little projects just with some waste product well it's not waste product is it it's all good product but you know when you've finally got three stickers left you don't want to throw them away so it's nice to make something pretty with them so um, another little project I thought I'd share with you today is a little card that I've made and this is a die a Tim Holtz die that I've used that's called layered plaid love this die set makes a beautiful boulder back background die uh, you get the main background panel and then you get two dies that are um, for your layering to make your gorgeous background 
background. This is called Layered Plaid uh, Dye by Tim Holt and it makes a stunning, stunning background for your project. So this is a card that I've made. So what I've done is made my card blank, cut those different layers of that dye out of browns and a cream and matted them together. Then I've used a stamp set, what I've used in a previous video, this gorgeous sort of pumpkin spice, pumpkin uh, cut, um, pie inspired stamp set what you've seen before absolutely lovely little cute stamp set and then I've just stamped colored those out fussy cutted some of those out and added this gorgeous little strip of textured uh, cardstock across the middle stamped the sentiment wishing you pumpkin spice and everything nice added this twine and then added some glossy accents and some glitter to that card so yeah these are the three little projects i thought i'd share with you today for my hashtag project share thursday like i said i'd love to know what you've been up to let me know what craft project you are up to at the moment hope you'll watch out tomorrow for my halloween autumn collaboration video that will be coming up at 6 p.m hope you have a wonderful day afternoon or evening and I hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.